Welcome to this Wood City Collector presentation. I'm Paul, and today we're going to crack some diecast. Two cars I bought at the store, two cars I got in the mail for my last mail call. We'll start with the cars off, off the pegs. And these came from the local grocery store. I paid $3.49 for them. They normally sell $2.97 at the Walmart. They're on the Vintage Racing Club series. This is the 71 Porsche 911 in beautiful green and white base. This one is a plastic, I believe it's a plastic base. Some of them have metal bases. Some of them have plastic bases. They all have really cool wheels. Really cool wheels for the, the uh, mid-priced semi-premium cars. I think they're called the Silver Series. But uh, here we go with this. The nice wheels. It's sort of a uh, take on the Fuchs wheels. A 71, I believe that's, I can't make that. I can't make out the grab, I can't make out the tampos. Sponsors Porsche on the window bar, X uh, tape covering the lights for the race. The uh, marker lights are part of the window, as are the back ones. It's kind of how cool is that to have a license plate on the Hot Wheels? And uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, it is a it is a plastic base. If you're interested in that in information? Give it a time to spin. And also from the set, well, oh, I should show you what else is in the set. Secondly, I got the uh, 54 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This is a metal body, metal base. So that's what's in the rest of the series. They say the Camaro's a chase, but it's it's just harder to find. I wouldn't call it a chase because it's numbered from 1 through 6. Because see, they're numbered 1 through 6. When they did this in the 50, 50th anniversary, they didn't number the gold Camaro. Nor was it shown. I believe it wasn't I don't think it was shown on the package either. I think it was a five-car set that they then added a sixth one to, which they should continue to do if they're going to do that. Not number them and make it hard, you know, so if you're a complete completionist. I don't know if you're a completionist for series, you're still going to want the chase pieces, but that's not the important thing. Hey, we, did, we appreciate the card art, because that's really cool card art. If they weren't that kind of money, I'd buy, I don't know, not that I'm not that called cardboard, but I mean, that's really cool card art. Probably should have tried to take it off a little nicer and save the card art, but whatever. So yeah, this is a nice weighty piece. Got sort of a take on the new five spokes, number 24. Before it's a classy racing car, all decoed up. 360 degrees, white painted base. Had it right the first time. Here's your info. What's going to be interesting to see is if I can uh, man it. Well, actually, I can because I have a scale. I weigh that one and the one that came from the Jalen's Lona's garage and see if there's an appreciable difference in weight and then try running them down my six lane. I always wanted to do that, like, with the car that, uh, this one is, it was one of the, no, that's a plastic base. But the, uh, one of the other cars I did that with, where I, where I cracked open a mainline and a, and a, um, a mainline and a premium. Next, we've got from the Neon Speeders, number, I believe it's two of, two of eight. Two of eight. Here's what else is in this set, which you saw in one of my previous videos. I don't think I'm interested in anything else. Other than this? No, probably not. But anyway, it's the Datsun 510 wagon in urban camo. Neon urban camo. With the funky funky pink wheels. Because this does have a hatch, therefore it is part of the hatchback horde. The wagons division. You've probably seen this before. It has white interior. Blue tinted windows. Sparko on the front. All dolled up on the front. All dolled up in the rear. It's a one rivet casting. Chrome base for, I guess, for uh, chin splitter purposes. Because it has no bump. Uh, oh, maybe for bumper purposes. Who knows? But anyway, nice looking car. I don't really get the hype for them, but if I find them or I have the ability to get them, I won't mind any of the collection. And last but not least, we're going to have... From the Hot Wheels Cars of the Decades, the 60s, the 1965 Volkswagen Fastback. Excuse me, yeah, 65. Sometimes I get the dates wrong, even if I'm reading them off the package. Crack this one. It is, again, um, this one is also a metal body, metal base. Heavy casting. Like, super heavy. Oh, it's a pop-off. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's supposed to be. All right, that's cool. Did not realize that, because this is the first one I've ever owned. Actually, I take that back. I did do the mail-in a few years ago from Target, but I traded it away to the same person I got this car from. 
So it's got all kinds of sponsors on the side, the Hot Wheels logo and the 60s looking graphics, sort of a duck foot on the, on the hood. Some headlights, same graphics on this side. Nothing on the back for detail purposes. Got a nice silver colored wing. And like I said, it does pop off. Hopefully it's supposed to, or else I broke it. Wouldn't be the first time in it. No, I didn't. This roll cage probably pops in too. It's for make for building purpose for uh, construction purposes. We're not gonna mess with that. But anyway, metal base which makes up the engine. Five spokes. I put the car back together. Give it a spin. Wrap up the. Oh, it's gonna pop in somehow. I don't think. You know, it's gotta. It's gotta pop in because. Should pop. Okay. Does that have to clip? And that goes like that? No, apparently it's loose. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, so if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.